Well, here's the knife kind of that everyone's been wanting to see. Uh, a lot of you guys will remember the Charade uh, SCHF 42. Charade went back with the designer. It's a Griffin design, a very accomplished outdoorsman. Um, really knowledgeable guy, does hell of a lot. He designed this knife and obviously Charade produced it. The knife does come with a premium leather sheath and it really is a good sheath. If you're left-handed, it's not a good sheath. So it's a right-handed sheath. So lefties, if you want one of these, you're probably gonna have to get a left-handed sheath made for it if you want that. I think there could be an opportunity for Charade to maybe get this out in a left-handed version. I'm not sure who they'd have to speak to, but it's something that I'd like to see them start doing. The knife itself is exactly the same design as the SCHF uh, 42. This is the 42D, but the straight edge version. And you can see what Charade did with that. They did a great job on it. They've used exactly the same materials. They did change the handle color. Uh, this is it's a gravery and it's uh, they call it desert or brown whatever you prefer I think it looks more of a brown kind of pretty cool you've got a lanyard loop there if you want it the steel on this is a 1095 high carbon stainless steel it works well it does throw a spark nothing's changed barring that straight edge and actually, this knife is absolutely brilliant for bushcraft stuff. We'll do a little bit of cut test in a minute. Just over a five inch cut edge on that. That's about the right size for a bout carry bushcraft survival knife if you want it to be. I kind of used this a lot yesterday, um, hammered it. It didn't take anywhere on their Teflon coated stuff. It, I was able just to wipe it off. And I'll tell you what, this the coating that they use on it is just amazing they should kind of stick to it the handle length 4.83 so you got full handed grip on that and it is one of the best comfortable knives i've ever used out of the kind of 100 knives that i've got in my collection the handle with this is spot on i, I don't mind it today it is soaking wet it's been raining all day and it always is when i do my charade reviews um, it always is what kind of when I'm always out trying to do anything it just seems to rain and that's the joys of living where I live so these coatings are really important for people that live in these kind of wet wet conditions and have real wet winters we rely on a good coating on the edge because if you're on a two three day camp or a seven day course the knives just start to rust and uh, with these coatings it does really help that the moist damp atmosphere where I am it's all the time and even in the summer our mornings uh, with dew is soaking wet so there it is that's the SCHF 42D let's uh, do some stuff with it I've got a stick here that we'll use you have got jimping on it the jimping can be aggressive to some people I found it not too bad I just want to check to see the 42 was spot on for chest cuts and I want to see whether by changing the profile of the knife it will have a difference so it will be it will perform slightly different actually it's not too bad for chest cuts it is it's kind of quite the performer don't mind that at all and then notching and carving out in the field notching and carving is important on a bushcraft knife or kind of even a survival knife so you can make your pot hangers with it no problems kind of notching and carving so you can make tent, tent pegs or do whatever you wanted to do with this not a problem you can see it just it just does it does eat wood trying to do some chopping with it some light chopping here that wouldn't be a tall order i got no problems with batonging this knife batting in it i have the 42 
this knife is exactly the same, I wouldn't have no problems there doing that. So it's fine for that kind of work. I zoom you in a bit. This is where you want a camera crew with you. Pretty sharp. Don't want to tip in it. Green wood. No problems with that. Bit of a tip test on it. Quite important. If you're going to drill out. Wood's quite hard. I don't feel my hand slipping at all with it, which is quite nice. You can see that I'm kind of just smacking out and drilling out. I'll try and get that one out of the way for you. Kind of guys that want to do a bow drill fire, being able to drill with your tip is quite important. Yeah, no problems with that. You gotta clean up. Ooh, can that focus? There you go. No tip damage. You can see the coat in there just trying to run this water off, which is what it's supposed to be doing, not holding water. So yeah, all in all, I've been really impressed with it. I'm going to do a lot more kind of usage with it and testing with it. My hands are actually soaking wet. Um, I've got to say, I've got no slippage on the handle at all, which is kind of nice because it's not uh, it's not textured. I thought my hand would have been slipping a lot more. It's not. Reverse grip on this knife is really good. Perfect. So there it is guys, don't forget you get your premium leather sheath, an absolute bargain I think. It, this knife yesterday outperformed knives that I had with me three times its price. So uh, you kind of got to look at that. <laughs> I get upset over that but perfect. So if you're looking for a real good full tang, just damn good bushcraft camp survival knife, that has got to be a recommended knife. So that's it guys, thank you very much, hope you enjoyed this review of the Charade SCHF42D, kind of looks cool, I do like the leather, I'm going to do an up close on the leather because the leather is good. Hola.